Hello everybody, welcome to That's Football. What a super Saturday it's been. Man City lose to Wolves and Arsenal are back on track. 4-0 win over Bournemouth. We're not here to talk about Man United. That's on the United stand. I'm not talking about it. But we are going to talk about the top of the league. Arsenal now one point behind Manchester City. And guess what? They play each other at the Emirates next week. Super Sunday, wow. But it's been a Super Saturday as well. Lots of change. That result for Man City we'll speak about in a moment. But I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear people saying it's only Bournemouth. Bournemouth are a good side. They played reasonably well against Arsenal today. But Arsenal were just back to their old, efficient, purposeful, um, clinical selves. 4-0 in the Premier League is not, you know... There's not many teams, unless you're Luton, getting beat like that or Sheffield United. And and I thought I think Arsenal today, even look, Arteta, you know, I've always said I can see what Arteta's doing. I see what he's trying to do. He starts with Havertz today and he gets a result like that. And maybe he's just going to prove everybody wrong again. And and to be honest, this, you know, I, I thought I, I said about Arteta, I can see what he's doing. There were some Arsenal fans, Arteta out, print the T-shirts. Um, I have to say with Havertz, I, I don't really see it working. But if he gets this right, this is why he's doing a good job at Arsenal. And he got it right today. They were so good. They deserved to win by four goals. It, you know, it wasn't completely domination. It was 58% possession. I think they had, you know, 15 shots, something like that. Half of them on target. But Bournemouth had eight shots. I don't think they had many on target. But they, they gave a good account of themselves and they got beat 4-0 by a ruthless Arsenal. And... I think the top of that table, if Arsenal can go and get something against Man City next week, you know, we look at Liverpool are up there. We've seen Villa beat Brighton 6-1. Brighton are still up there. It's it's a really interesting Premier League season. And it will be very even more interesting if more teams can beat Man City because I love it. I think the Premier League's fantastic. I want to see these games. I want to see these teams competing against each other, beating each other. Um, but it's all dependent on whether Man City can lose a few more games. But I think from Arsenal's point of view, the encouraging thing if you're an Arsenal fan is that um, obviously Arteta has made some big changes. David Rea is still playing in goal. Another clean sheet for him. I think he's. I think it's the right choice. I think it's a ruthless choice. I think the British media don't like it because obviously they want Ramsdale to be challenging Pickford. I get that. I want that. But Rea is a good goalkeeper and I think it brings a new dimension to Arsenal in the, fa in the fact that they can play in, the, in slightly different ways. Um, Havertz, I'm still to be convinced, but today he's done well. Um, but I think the big thing for Arsenal today is you think about the early games, whether it was Forest, Fulham at home, even Man United, they didn't they weren't like the Arsenal of last year where they felt like they could blow teams away. It's been very um, they've got good results this season and they're still up there. And in some ways, as an Arsenal fan, you'd be like, look, getting results when things aren't ticking is really important. And it is. But obviously you want to start, you know, you want to start ticking and. I think that today they did. I think that was like the Arsenal who started last season where it's like, let's put, let's not just put this game to bed. Let's send a strong message. And they've certainly done that. And obviously there's Champions League in the midweek, um, but they've got to go it. They've, they've got to approach that Man City game at the Emirates very different this time. They've got to go and try to win the game. And, 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 and if they can do that, I think the belief in that team will go up a level. They know they can be second. They know they can beat teams like they beat Bournemouth today. They've got to go and beat Man City at the Emirates next week. And I think that this result is almost perfect timing with Man City losing as well and, and then finally beating a team well like we know Arsenal can. I think it, I think it sets it up absolutely perfectly for next week. Um, as for Manchester City, I mean, you couldn't get a bigger contrast. I think they had one shot on goal, Wolves, and they scored it. I think they had something like two or three shots altogether. Man City probably had about 100. Um, we've seen this happen with Man City before. It happened at Nottingham Forest last year where they absolutely dominated them and they ended up drawing. Um, these things happen. Um, I mean, Arsenal are celebrating twice. I've just forgotten. The Invincibles. Get the Yorkie wrapper out and wrap that one up again. Um, yeah, I, I, I said it on the podcast this week that Man City will not do the Invincibles. I think it's impossible to do. There's too many good teams. I wouldn't have expected Wolves being the problem. That was a shock. But um, credit to Wolves. I I haven't seen that game, but I just want to say credit to Wolves because I've seen Wolves play a couple of times this season. They had a good 45 minutes to Liverpool, but scored first and lost at the Molyneux. They played very well at Man United and lost. Um, 
And today, maybe Man City should have won it. Maybe Man City did dominate the play. Maybe Man City should have done better. But I think Gary O'Neill and Wolves deserved that result today because they've had a few games where they deserve to win themselves and they haven't. Uh, for the Premier League, it's absolutely fantastic. Man City in crisis, well, it's always a crisis when you lose a game and you're you, you know, the best team in England. Um, I think Pep Guardiola will be very relaxed about it. They've lost two games in a row. They lost to Newcastle in the Carabao Cup. Man City, I think, will still win this league title. Um, but it shows you they're not a machine. It, it shows you they can be beaten. Um, and when a team like Wolves does it, it has to send confidence and um, um, excitement to the rest of the Premier League. Um, you know, teams like Aston Villa will look at that. Arsenal next week should be looking at that. Liverpool will look at it and go, look, you can get at this Man City side. They're not, you know, they're not invincible. And they're clearly not because they've just lost to Wolves. Um but I think the bigger picture here is that is, is the bigger win is for the Premier League. Nobody wants Man City to just run away with it in third gear. You want them to have to work for it. I'd like to see them lose again very soon. I'd like to see uh, Man City be having to chase Liverpool or Arsenal down. I think it would make it a far more interesting league. And maybe that can happen. Maybe that can happen. But uh, look, I'm trying to move my head away from the Man United situation, which is just what it is. It's like Chelsea. We're just not very good. And I think we're in for a very long, hard season. Um, it's a nice distraction to focus on the game that I love football and be able to look at the top of the league and go, Villa, fantastic. I still think Brighton will be back. Spurs are a good side. Liverpool are doing fantastic again. Arsenal look like they're clicking into gear. Um, unfortunately, Man United aren't going to be part of that party, but um, it's, a, it's a good Saturday for the Premier League in general because you've had a team in relegation trouble beating the best team in the league. Um and then you've had Arsenal, you know, do something they haven't done this season yet, which is absolutely destroy somebody and look like a team that is finally clicking into gear after a, a bit of a, you know, workmanlike start to the season. Uh, anyway, look, uh, get your comments in below. What do you think about the Premier League now? Do you really think people can compete with Man City? Or do you think that might just be a little blip where Man City just react? I think the perfect nature of that result is that Arsenal... I don't want to put pressure on them, and I'm, I, I won't, but they've got to get something next week. It can't be Man City roll up to the Emirates and beat them 2 or 3-0 next week. That That is that is an opportunity. It's an opportunity for the Premier League. Of course it is. It's an opportunity for, for Villa and Arsenal and Liverpool and everybody else. But it's but it's Arsenal's opportunity. It's at the Emirates, and it's, it's at exactly the right time. And what a big game that is. Uh, get your comments in below. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you all in a bit. Make sure you subscribe.